Okay, so tell us about the wave. The wave itself, oh my gosh, it's just it's like, you get desensitized to it. But then when you have an opportunity to drop in and get in there, that's like, I mean, I don't think I've ever surfed a wave that good. I feel like I just drank coffee. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just so psyched. That was like, I just, I want to just surf that wave all day. That's all, that's all I want to do. I just want to surf that wave all day with a couple friends. And that's the, I guess that's essentially what we did. There may be fewer people. The way we, it was structured, we, everyone basically got two waves per hour, which puts a lot of pressure on the two waves that you are assigned, essentially. Um, if you blow those waves, you'll maybe get an opportunity to surf another wave if someone falls and you're in the right position. I haven't been able to say anything all day because I'm just so psyched. Like, well, I want you, I want to paint a portrait of the wave for people that don't understand it. So, well, they're gonna uh, see the shitty footage of me. So, and so, not to lesser, you got everyone got really good waves, but like, we're not none of us are pro surfers. Although, gotta hand it to fucking Ashton and uh, Mike and a couple. Like, Sam, Sam got a good one too. Yeah, I think Mike, Mike. Yeah. Was, is like the best surfer like, yeah. by far. Yeah. So, he's a really good surfer. Yeah, he is good. Yeah. But okay. I mean, but everyone's like, no, but Bass. Yeah, Dude, he's good. Bass is really stylish. All right, so to break <laughs> it down, let's break it down for people. So the experience is as follows. Uh, <clears throat> we had six people in the water on at for a 50-minute long heat. Uh, yeah. We were told that a wave comes every five minutes. They give you a minute warning and announce it over the loudspeaker. And essentially, when it's your turn, it's a nerve wracking experience because you're told you have one minute until you're on the spot and everybody's watching you. And if you fall, then other people get your wave, but it's kind of crazy. And then right before the wave starts, there's this cranking noise as the. Dave, Dave uh, painted or he shared a nice analogy. Um, it's, it's like, like a roller coaster, like going it's up like a roller coaster. When you're getting to the top of the roller totally. coaster, there's so much anticipation. It's like crank, 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 and you're like, "Oh, I'm about to get an opportunity to have everything I've ever wanted, and I hope that I make the most of it." Any other uh, gut reactions to it, Zach? Yeah, there's a lot. To, there's a lot to work through right now. I'm, I'm having difficulty processing this whole. Thing. So I blew my first wave, which is like, I felt so sad. <laughs> I just felt so sad because everything that I wanted was in front of me and then it's all my fault and no one else's that I didn't get the one thing that I wanted. But everyone is really, really happy that you didn't <laughs> get everything that you wanted because then they get to go. Yeah, I really, I thought I was up in there. <laughs> and that's like the curse of watching yourself surf after you really enjoyed yourself. It's like you're... I guess there is a possibility that you could be even more pleased with reality than what you remembered yourself doing, but like... Probably not. Chances are low. I'm still psyched, but like, the memory that I have of my best wave is way better than watching the footage of my best wave. <laughs> and now it smells like complete cow shit. I never really thought this would actually be possible and it's just crazy that it is and uh, I just feel really appreciative of it <laughs> and I, like, I can't wait to come surf it again <laughs> and uh, if anyone ever get out there watching this gets the opportunity to come surf it <laughs> figure out how to say yes and to be there because uh, you're just going to be smiling yeah, we gotta 